It's Greek to Meow is rather beautifully animated. This is a 1961 Tom and Jerry cartoon directed by Gene Deitch and this one takes part in ancient Greece and or takes place in ancient Greece rather and the costumes are adorable. They're wearing very traditional costumes and Tom particularly looks amazing and the architecture is stunning. Tom develops a lot of bumps and injuries that seem to just take on the appearance of classic Grecian architecture, which I thought was a, a nice touch. It made a little bit of difference from the usual just round red bump. Um, they, they do interact a lot with the architecture, which I think is one of the main selling points for me because I thought it was visually beautiful. The colour palette is gorgeous. I never thought I'd see a pastel pink trash can, but I did, and it's beautiful. Um, there's one bit of animation that I loved, and it's at the very beginning, and Tom lifts the lid off of a trash can, a metal trash can, and looks inside of it, and because it's empty, we can see his reflection on the base of the trash can, and it was just so, so well done. Really, really well done. And that kind of set the bar for the rest of the cartoon. In terms of the actual narrative, it's the classic Tom and Jerry cartoon of them chasing each other and trying to get the better of each other in ancient Greece and I really liked it because I thought the setting was gorgeous, the animation quality is beautiful, the colour palette is stunning and as I said I liked the touch of you know Tom's injuries taking on the shape of Grecian architecture so I actually thought it was pretty decent and it might actually be my favourite Jean Dyche Tom and Derry cartoon so far. I still have some more to watch but at this stage I'm willing to say it's my favourite. It only has 4.7 out of 10 on IMDb across 402 reviews and ratings, which obviously is not a tremendous number of reviews, but I still feel like, for me personally, that's quite a surprising rating because I genuinely enjoyed it. It's definitely one that I recommend. If I were to list my top 20 Tom and Jerry cartoons, it might actually be in that list, and I never, ever thought a Gene Dyche Tom and Jerry would be in that list. So I think that goes some way to saying how much I loved it. Definitely recommend it. I think it's worth checking out if you're a fan of Tom and Jerry.